Hello, this is Tiny Bees from Cynical Guild, and today we are going to be talking about firing practice cannonballs. So you can see I'm over at the local guild vendor, and I'm going to buy myself a practice cannon and some practice balls. Any guild officer or the GM or even a quartermaster is able to purchase the cannon and the cannonballs. If you are not one of those things, you can simply ask them to either promote you temporarily to quartermaster or to pick up the cannon for you and the balls and place it. Anyone in the guild can fire them once they've been placed. So I'm going to head over to a field right outside of High Dal Arena. It's my favorite place to practice firing cannonballs. And the reason for that is if somebody happens to be PvPing in the High Dal Arena and you hit them with the cannonball, it'll stun them. It makes them angry. It's hilarious. Now when you're placing your cannon, I suggest finding a place that is within a shrubbery. The reason for that is the shrubbery conceals the cannon, and once you are inside the cannon, you don't show up as a white pip on the map. So if you're in a siege and people are out looking for the cannon, you can simply just stop firing for a moment, stay in your shrubbery, and hopefully they won't see you while they're going by. So once you find your nice little place to place your cannon, you just open up your inventory and click on it, and you will start building the cannon. So now I've clicked on it and I'm just waiting to place it. So it takes a couple seconds to place. If anyone does any damage to you at this time, it'll interrupt you and you have to start over. All right, so now our cannon is placed. And as you can see, I didn't do a good job of hiding it in the shrubs. So I'm just gonna pick it up and pull it backwards. Now it looks like it's hidden in that shrub pretty well. So now that our cannon is placed, we just have to open our inventory and put our balls inside. Any member of the guild, regardless of your rank, can place cannonballs into the cannon. So if you've made your own cannonballs, flame balls, you're able to place them in any cannon that is placed. So first things first, you want to kind of aim your cannon. Uh, shift up is going to control your height. And then Firing is a matter of holding down the button and releasing when it's at the power you like. The power bar will not go down, so if it's too far, you're just going to have to put up with the fact that your ball is going to overshoot. So here I am aiming for that tower in the High Dell Arena. I can adjust my aim a little bit, change my trajectory, and fire. So being this close to a base, you are able to actually see where your cannon is landing based off of the smoke. So I'm making some hits on that little tower by the Heidel Arena. So as you can see on the left hand side of the cannon, every time I fire the cannon barrel overheats and I have to wait a few seconds before I can fire my next shot. At the bottom of the cannon, there's also a little counter to let you know how many cannonballs are remaining. So when you're playing around with the cannon, trying to get a feel of how high you need to hit it or how hard to, you need to fire the cannon, keep in mind that the higher your trajectory is, the further your ball is going to go. So if you're, say, wanting to hit that tower or even just hit right inside the arena, mess up maybe someone's PvP tournament, uh, start off with a low trajectory and a low power and try increasing your height first before increasing your power because the height's a little bit easier to control than the power is. Now, once you've run out of cannonballs, you can simply just put more cannonballs in. So there's no limit on how many times you reload the cannon or how many balls you put in at once. I recommend putting them in in small amounts if you're in a node war. And that's because if someone comes and destroys your cannon, you lose all the balls that were in the inventory. Or if you've placed it in a really terrible spot and you'd like to completely pick it up and relocate it, again, you lose all the balls that you've already put into your cannon. So this close to your target, you don't really need to have a spotter because you can see where your balls are hitting. I'm using a power range of about 7 to 20, depending on my trajectory, in order to get those hits on the tower or on the flat in the arena. Once you've moved further away and you're no longer able to see these things, uh, that's when the spotter comes in. I recommend taking some time and practicing with a couple people in your guild that might be spotting for you. So when they go and suicide into the base and they're giving you directions, you've got a nice clear line of communication. 
it's good to be using uh, cardinal directions, north, east, west, and south. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to call whether you're hitting or missing or how much further you need to go, as well as height. Once you have your spotter, it's also good to start off with a couple of flame cannons and then they'll be able to notice whether or not the base is in fire. It gives you a really clean, clear idea of whether or not you've had a hit. I'll talk a little bit more about the flame cannons and uh, different setup positions in an actual node war. So at this point, I'm just going to continue firing off the remainder of the practice cannonballs that I picked up. If I wanted to take a break, somebody else could just come and pick up where I left off and uh, use up the rest of those balls. I'm not sure what the timer is, but after a while this cannon will despawn as a guild practice cannon. These practice cannons also can't be used in the node where you'll have to get it from a cannon observatory. Well, I hope you liked my little mini cannon tutorial, and this gives you a little bit of help when it comes to firing live.